folks welcome in this video we're going to be taking a look at the google sheets api and how you can work around it using python so let's get started the step one for this video is going to be having a sample google sheet so this is the google sheet that we're using that contains some name and the roll number and score in two subjects the next thing is going to be going to the cloud.google.com the console and opening it up and this is what you will be seeing here the next thing that we're going to be go we're going to be doing is creating a new project in our console so if you have, if you if you come to this side for the first time you might need to log in and stuff but you, if you have already created projects all you need to do is go here and click on the new project button on clicking it you have to give a name to the project a suitable name so i'm going to say aryan um, python and you don't need to specify any organization you can just go ahead and click on create um okay you cannot add any character special characters it's it is it all has to be just letters so we're just going to go ahead and click on create you can see on the left side in a few seconds it's going to be saying creating project and the project will get created after creating the project we're just going to go to the projects and we're going to select the project saying aryan python now we need to add the api so that we can work with the google sheet to do that you can either go to the navigation menu go to the apis and services and click on dashboard or you can directly just go to go to apis and services and a few seconds you'll be seeing something like this now you want to add apis you can either go to the library button or you can just click on enable apis i'm going to click on this and here you can search for api so the first api that we're going to be adding in this video is going to be the google drive api so i'm just going to type in Google Drive API and here you can see this is the API that we need to add so we're going to just go click on enable and a few seconds the Google Drive API will get added to your project now that we have created the project and we have added the API it's time to get some credentials to work with the Google Sheet to do that we're going to go to the credentials part here and we're going to just click on create credentials so we need to create a service account using which we can interact with the Google Sheet. So we're going to click on service account. And here you need to give a name to the service account. That can be anything. So I'm just going to give it Aryan Google Sheets. And you don't need to have a description. You can just click on create and continue. Now you need to select a role. You're going to be working with a sheet. So you might want to read data. You might want to get data. And you might want to make some edits in the data. So we're just going to give it a basic one saying the editor. So that you can make changes in your Google Sheet. So we're going to just click on continue here. And there's no need to give any users and roles and you can just click on done. So now you've got the credentials here. Normally a JSON file should get downloaded into it, but that's fine. You can go to the, you can just, you just click on the service account here and you need to go to the keys section using which you can interact with the Google Sheet. So we're going to click on add key. You need to create a new key and you have to select the JSON and click on create and a few seconds a JSON file will get downloaded into your company. The next thing that we're going to be doing is adding the Google Sheets API so that we can interact with the Google Sheet directly. So to do that we're just going to go back to the just go back here go back to this to, to that to do that we're just going to go back to the cloud platform we're going to go to the APIs and services and we're just going to add the Google Sheets API by following the same steps going to enable and adding in the sheets api click on the sheets api and click on enable here and here the google sheet api has successfully been added to your cloud project here i'm just going to be adding the json file that we previously downloaded here i'm going to drop it in here so, and now i'm going to be using vs code for this video if you have used if you want to use any other uh, editor it's perfectly fine so we're going to go, I'm going to open the VS code here. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to file. I'm going to click create, open the folder and go to the Python API, select the folder. And this is the JSON file that we're going to be using for this project. So we're just going to go ahead and rename this to creds.json. The next thing that we're doing is importing the gspread library. To do that, I'm going to open the command prompt and this is the command that you need to type in. It's going to be pip pip that is going to that is used to install libraries in Python. Then we're going to be doing gspread 
and we're going to do o auth client o auth to client and hit on enter right now it's showing the requirement already satisfied because i've already done this a few times previously but for you it will be showing you a lot of stuff ahead so we have, we have successfully imported the g spread library into our project you can say that and i'm going to just close the command prompt and we're going to be taking the email address from here that is the client email and we're going to be sharing it with the google sheet so that we can interact with it from here so i'm going to go back to my sheet i'm going to click on share and i'm going to be adding the sheet link i'm going to click on send and now we can start writing our code so we're going to go back to our visual studio code i've already created a new file saying the sheets sheets.py and here we're going to start so i'm going to start out by doing import g spread that which that we just previously installed using the pip pip command and the next thing that i'm going to be doing is from the oauth client i'm going to be getting in the service account followed by importing the service account credentials so i'm going to be doing dot service account and i'm going to be importing the service account credentials so here the next thing that we're going to be doing is having some scopes here that we're going to be that is going to be used to interact with the sheet for I'll, I'll be leaving it in the description you can go ahead and copy it from there if you want to type it you can do that too but it's going to be a little long one so i'm just going to go here paste in the scopes here and hit on enter now we're going to be writing the next part of the code that is really important the next thing that we're going to be doing is getting the keys from the json file using the scopes that we just declared and then we're going to be authorizing the creds and then we're going to be interacting with our sheet so to do, do that we're going to be doing creds we're going to create a new variable called creds in which we're going to be using the service account credentials and getting it from the json key file so we're going to be getting the account credentials from the json file so here i need to specify the name that's going to be creds dot json followed by the scopes that i'm going to be passing as an argument to pass in the scopes so the last thing that is going to be authorizing the creds here so we're going to be creating a new variable called client and we're going to be authorizing it so we're going to be using the g spread library g spread dot authorize and we're going to pass in the creds variable as the argument now we have authorized everything and we are ready to do it. the next thing that we're going to be doing is getting the sheet so i'm going to be creating a new variable called sheet and i'm going to be doing client and I'm going to be client dot open so we can open the sheet and I'm going to paste in here you need to give in the name of the Google sheet so it's going to be student details and you need to specify the sheet number since this is a big spreadsheet and you need to specify it. so I'm going to be doing sheet one and this is going to be the sheet one here and the next thing that we're going to be doing is getting all the data into one variable so that we can print it and check whether we've got the correct spreadsheet so we're going to be doing data i'm going to create a new variable called data and i'm going to be doing sheet dot get underscore all underscore records here so this is it that is done now we're going to go ahead and print the data i'm going to do print data and i'm going to click on run Here you can see successfully the data has been printed from the Google Sheet into our VS Code terminal. So this means that we have got the correct sheet comparing the data. If you see this is going to be name, roll number, score and match is going to be the same headers that we had here. Now that now the next thing that we're going to be doing is getting a specific kind of data. Say I want a specific row or a specific column from the sheet. So I'm going to be doing create a new variable called row and I'm going to be doing sheet. I'm going to be doing sheet dot get the row so it's going to be row underscore values and i'm going to pass in say i want the third row of data i want this one j7613 just remember it i'm going to be doing j3 and i'm just going to comment this one out here i'm going to print row and i'm going to hit say just going to clear this out and I'm going to run here you can see j7 6 and 13 has successfully been printed the next thing that we're going to be doing is printing a specific column so I'm going to create a new variable called call and I'm going to do sheet dot row so it's going to be call sorry 
going to be call underscore values and say I want the I want the second one. I want, the, I want all the roll numbers. So I'm going to be doing second. I've, I've specified the second column. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is printing it. I'm going to do call and I'm just going to comment this printing the row. I'm going to comment it out here and I'm going to click on run. And here you can see roll number 37245 has successfully been printed. So we've got the specific value. So the next thing that we're going to doing is printing a specific cell out of a column. I'm going to create a new variable called cell and I'm going to be doing sheet dot cell. And I'm going to pass in, say I want the word roll number here. So it's going to be the first column. It's going to be, first we're going to be passing out the row comma column. So it's going to be the first row and it's going to be the second column. So I'm going to specify one comma two here and I'm going to get dot value and I'm going to print the value saying print cell and I'll just clear this out and I'm going to click on run. And here you can see roll number the word that we were expecting has successfully been printed in our terminal. The next thing that we're going to be doing is it's changing data is going to be inserting data or deleting data from the Google Sheet. So now we're going to be creating a list. I'm going to be saying insert row. I'm going to create a new variable called insert row value. It's going to be just insert row. And here I'm going to be creating a sheet. So here I'm going to be creating a list. I'm going to first specify the name. It's going to be Zane. Comma. I'm going to specify the the second is going to be the roll number score into subjects. I'm going to say it's his roll number is eight and he has scored fifth. He's going to be scoring 15 and he has scored say 15 and once again in Spanish. Here we have created the list that we want to use. The next thing that we're going to do is sheet dot insert row is going to be the function that we're going to be using is going to be insert row here you need to specify the data that is the values that you want to pass followed by the index of the row so i'm going to follow i'm going to pass in the insert row com, uh, variable followed by say the row that i want to do that is the index so say i'm going to be adding it in this one it's going to be the eighth one so i'm going to add eight i'm going to do clear and say we i'll, I'll print and confirmatory message saying the row has been added. You can see row has been added. So I'm going to clear this out. I'm going to click on run. And you can see the row has been added, has successfully been printed. And you can see Zen 81515 has successfully been added to our Google Sheet. Now that we have added data, it's time to say delete a row out of the sheet. So to do that, I'm going to go, I'm going to say, you don't need to specify any. A list of data or something you just need to go ahead and do you need to specify the command that is going to be sheet dot delete underscore row and here you need to pass in the index that is going to be the row number or say I want to delete the fifth row that says kitchen 4 21 and 34 so I'm going to write in the fifth one and I'm going to print another confirmatory message saying the row has been added. I'm going to hit on save. I'm going to clear this out. I'll just comment the previous lines of code here and I'm going to click on run. And here you can see the, sh the, the row has been added. And here you can see that the row has been deleted from our Google Sheet. In this video, we have covered accessing, reading and writing data in Google Sheets using Python. I will be covering more functionalities and things that you can do using Sheets, API and Python. So this is all for this video. I hope you have understood how to read and write data in Google Sheets using Python. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.